So I'm going to switch over now to a virtual machine so we can see a demo of the Microsoft uh, Oracle Migration Assistant and what it looks like. So I'm going to get out of my slides here and I'm going to move over to uh, a virtual machine. So I'm hoping you guys can see right now. I believe you do. Um, if you've never used the Migration Assistant, I'll give you a quick rundown of what uh, the graphical interface, how it works. So we have here on this top panel, you can see here it says the Oracle Metadata Explorer, right? And then right below it is the SQL Server Metadata Explorer. So the tool is going to let us pick and choose what we want to move from Oracle to SQL. And let's say, for example, I can scroll down here and I have a schemical warner that is loaded with some mock data that we're going to migrate to a SQL database uh, called Warner as well. Now, to show you guys a few of the capabilities of the tool, for example, if I were to choose this um, countries table, it will give me the schema of the table here on this other panel. And if I just go on this tab at the top that says SQL, it actually gives me real T SQL that is going to use to generate and create that table on uh, the SQL server side, right? So you can actually tweak these things manually if you want to alter it. Um, I can actually uh, also create a report if I want to see first if um, it's a, you know how many issues I might have or not have. So let's see if I can do that now. Okay, so you guys can see here I have the report open. That's the results of the conversion. And it tells me the type of uh, objects that I found and how many were able to be converted. And in this case, everything was able to be converted, so we get 100%. Uh, and you can see here objects by category as well. And we can see how many uh, were able to be converted as well. If you have some warnings and some issues, you might uh, want to navigate to them and you can see what those issues are and what the assistant is doing. So for example here I got a report uh, that says um, there's a warning with this a specific view is called EMP underscore details underscore view so I can go on this and it goes and tells me what the issue is. So here we can see when it did the conversion uh, I get a warning message from the migration assistant that tells me um, there's an attribute that is on the Oracle view that's called with read only that does not have an equivalent on SQL Server. So the difference here is that when we look at the Oracle code, if you see Oracle has this, uh, this statement that you can mark a particular view as read only, but a SQL Server doesn't have them, then you might say like, well, then I can't do this migration. But no, actually you can. The, the, the way that we make a view read only in SQL Server is through uh, the security of the view. It's not by marking it with a statement in this, in this style. So that's why the migration assistant just continues. It, it uh, translates a view. But at this point, it's up to you as a the DBA or, or the expert to make a note and realize that this view was never meant for data manipulation. So you should make sure that there's no permissions on this view to actually insert, update, or delete any data, and there's only read permissions on this view, right? So again, you obviously it's not all about the tool. Um, as a DBA and as an expert, you need to apply your uh, knowledge of the platforms to, like I said, come up with a detailed plan and path for a particular migration, okay? So let me go back, now that we see the reports capability, um, we can go back here, and if you see here, I have a, um, a SQL Server database already I created, it's called Warner here, and it's empty. It doesn't have anything on it, so if I go here to tables, you guys can see I don't have anything deployed. Um, if I go to store procedures, um, I have nothing. So this is completely empty. Um, and so we can try to do the, the uh, conversion of the schema first 
and then uh, try to migrate the data. So I'm going to do that just to show you guys like the three phases of the report analysis, then convert the schema, um, and then uh, finally we'll, we'll try to migrate the data. So in this case, uh, the schema has been converted. And I look here, I can see, for example, the tables that it's going to try to create. Now, at this point, it has not applied the change to my actual SQL database because what the Migration Assistant does is that it gives you a view here on the Metadata Explorer of what it's planning to do. And then you have the choice of staying with the Migration Assistant did or you can tweak it on your own. So, for example, if I go to Countries, I can see that uh, what the migration assistant is going to do. But if during the migration, let's say, I'm like, well, I actually would prefer now that we're migrating to get a little bit of leeway here in terms of my uh, data type size. So um, you can, if you want, change some of these values uh, before they get um, migrated to SQL. Uh, so you could change here, for example, the country name if you wanted to change the data type. Um, once you have exactly what you want, then you can just say you want to synchronize with the actual database, or you can save it as a script, or you can save it as a SQL Server data tools project, which is really cool as well. So in this case, for demo purposes, I'm just going to say that I want to synchronize it with um, a database. And it gives you a, a summary of all the things that is going to move. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to say OK. All right, so that is done. Now I can refresh on Management Studio, and we can see what type of stuff if it migrated. So we can see now we do find uh, the schema uh, that we had. And for example, I believe there's a couple of store procedures. So there we go. So a couple of store procedures here. And you can you know verify at this point that it is what you wanted. And if it isn't, then you can always go back and tweak it in the project. Now, finally, if you are um, happy with uh, what you did and you want to also try and see how easy it could be to migrate the data one shot style, then it does come with that capability. Um, you'll have to reconnect because you use a separate connection for the actual data movement. So I'm connecting to both of them here. And let's see what happens. So now it does say starting data migration. And once it's done, it gives you, this is a very small schema, so obviously it happened really fast. Um, but for every table, it does tell you how many rows it had the table, how many rows it was able to migrate, how long it took, and the success rate. So here, for example, we see that oh, everything was migrated. And, and I mean, that would be the best case every time that you would try to do this, of course. But a lot of the times, you could say something like, OK, well, maybe we only had a 90% success rate. But that's already 90%. So we already, uh, maybe we just have to develop an SSIS package and bring in the remaining 10% that we couldn't do just straight from the migration assistant. Or maybe there's an issue with that 10% uh, and it's data that we're not even interested on in bringing forward with us. But again, the tool can really help you uh, get off the ground and get an idea of what it will be easy to convert and what is not going to be easy to convert and what will actually require uh, manual effort or a little bit of development effort from the database perspective, right? At the same time, like I said before, we need to collaborate with application teams because there's a piece in the application as well. Obviously, if the application is submitting PL SQL directly, then that will have to be um, translated as well, or it will have to be moved into a store procedure, and then we can translate the store procedure. Okay, so I hope. Uh, you guys got a good overview of the basic functionality of the tool. I do invite you to uh, download it and uh, play around with it on your own. It's absolutely free. You can just get it from Microsoft website. But we went through at least the three main uh, use cases for the tool, which is to create the report, converting the schema, and then migrating the data uh, one time, one shot style.